Welcome to FCAP Sports. I'm Matt Carlson, and I'm Evan Manigan. It's a broadcast of a Frontier Wrestling Duel Meet against the Athol Red Raiders. We got a pretty close to full lineup of action tonight. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a good duel meet against these two teams, uh, the Red Hawks and the Raiders. The Raiders line up a little bit thinner than the Red Hawks, but uh, forfeits aren't everything in wrestling. Yep. We got a Jake Matson and John Mahoy predicted to take the 106 match. Uh, 113 should be a forfeit to Tanner Finch. Yeah, 120 will be uh, Bailey Murray going up against Bryce Sheffield. At 126, we got Avery Tuttle for Frontier going up against Caleb Cox for the Raiders. At 132, Victor McNutt up against <coughs> uh, Tim <coughs> Kasavica. Uh, at 138, it's looking like Connor Pettis is going to take a forfeit for Frontier. Edo McMillan should be taking a forfeit at 145, and Katesy Matson might be taking a uh, forfeit at 152. And then over at um, Athol, should be taking a forfeit at 160 with Joe Gregg. 170, it looks like it might be empty. Uh, at 182, we got Nate Austin up against Chris Waslaki. And at 195, Joe Hildreth up against Dakota Gilman. Seems as if the 220 spot is empty, with the 285 spot uh, having a forfeit for Frontier uh, by Jackie Fong. Some of the noticeable inactive for Frontier is last year's captain Miguel Overa will not be wrestling tonight due to unforeseen <coughs> circumstances. And we got a uh, right now we have the two captains on the mat, Joe Hildreth and Connor Pettis, leading warmups for Frontier. Um, Connor got his 100 wins last year. That was really exciting, his junior year, and we should see big things out of him yeah. this year. Yeah, Connor's looking like a good player, always has. And uh, last year, he went deep into Western Mass, if not two states. Um, this year, he's looking to, he's really, uh, he's got big aspirations this year. He's looking to place, we'll see what happens with that. And then Joe Hildreth is looking to do well at Western Mass as well as a five-year wrestler. Coach Bagden coming out on the mat. Get cleaning up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of sweat. Getting ready yeah, for some action. Ready for the action on the mat. So Pat, you know, you, you used to wrestle yeah, for a long so, time. Yeah, wrestle so for a long we time. Both, we both yeah, we were both on the team last year for a little bit. Um, <coughs> what is it like right now when you're uh, before the match, you're warming up with all your all your teammates, all this anxiety? Just well, cut weight for three days. <laughs> Hardly eating anything, trying to make weight. Oh, God. It's, well, one, you get to eat after you make weight, so that feels nourishing and great. And But just you got to think about you and the other guy that you're wrestling, and that's all you can be thinking about all the way up until your match. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety going around. There's a lot of focus you can see right now. Um, no one's really saying too much. They're just, they're just making sure they're getting their stretched out. All day, they've been thinking about this match. Hydrating. Luckily, in the mornings, they take one way in and get a something pound allowance afterwards, so they're allowed to eat throughout the day, not have to worry about making weight, which is always nice as a wrestler. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706. Meet the referee in the center here and shake hands. Get ready for the coin toss. Joey Hildreth and Connor Pettis representing Frontier. Athol has won the toss.
So the coin toss here was to decide which coach puts his wrestler out first for each of the weight classes. This way, if there are any mismatches, um, you can decide, the coach can decide to exploit those mismatches. And if there's any empty weight classes, you can choose to bump wrestlers up or down, depending on who wins the toss. One, one side will get the odds, and one side will get the evens. Wrestlers are huddled around their coach, Coach Bagden. Athol Raiders are scattered. Getting ready. Getting ready. We see uh, John Mahoy is approaching the ref table, along with Jake Matson. Jake's a first year wrestler at the 106 position. This will be his first dual meet ever, so we'll see how he does. The frontier coaching staff always does a good job of preparing these uh, beginning wrestlers. Oh, he's gonna take us a shot. Control the leg. Battle for control. No points yet. Moy pulls the leg in. And two points for Athol. Trying for the cradle here. It looks. Oh, he switches behind. Athol still has control. Always trying to work that arm in. Over. Madsen's on his back. Tough spot. He's dangerous. Bridging up. One minute, seven seconds. That's a one. That's a one. Valiant effort for a first meet, though. I mean, oh, yeah. He fought hard right till the end. So, uh, Tanner Finch is coming out for the first four foot of the match. The 113 position. Yeah, we got Bailey Murray and Bryce Sheffel coming out in the 120 match. I know Bailey, uh, last year he was a first year wrestler and he did great things. Was, like, the strength that this kid had is unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, it takes a shot. Oh, he gets sprawled. Right. That's the right. Both wrestlers are fighting for control. No one's got points yet. Oh, and Mary takes the goal. Oh, and uh, Steffel gets his goal. This is close right here. It's a two to one. Tying up both wrestlers fighting for control. Bailey takes a shot, and he gets brought. He's holding on to that leg. Oh. Take down, two points frontier. Both wrestlers tied up, 44 seconds left in the period. Both wrestlers looking for an opening here. Take a shot. Referee is going to call some back. Call stalling. Oh, 
Bailey takes a shot. And this time will be successful. He has to maintain control. Don't give him that escape. And that's the end of the game. So it looks like uh, Shuffet is going to have the decision for the first break. Top, bottom, or neutral. We'll see what he decides. Both coaches are giving their wrestlers some mid Up match advice. advice yeah. What's it like to be in the middle of a match and trying to hear what coach is saying, but you can't really quite make it out because you're in the midst of it? And he's yeah, you want to you want to hear what your coach is saying, and you're glad that he's trying to help you. But in the middle of in the middle of the match, yeah, you're, you're not listening. You're not listening. To what you're there's, there's, and you're trying to think about. You're what just trying you need to. to do. Yeah, there, there's no, there's not much time for sitting down and listening to what yeah. the coach is trying to tell you. But you know, got an valiant effort by the coaches, though. You know, they really do care. They're yeah. wanting to win. But, but this is the time right now. This is where you're getting your when tips. It comes from your down to, when it comes down to it, it's just you. Okay. So it looks like, um, looks like Shuffet's going to choose the bottom position to start the second period. Take it back, skate yeah. point. Gonna strengthen this kid. Going to second year. Yeah. Yeah. Work it over. And both kids are under 200 pounds, but I think that there's a clear physical. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. but uh, Shuffet gets the escape Speed. point anyway. Could get the two points. There it is. We got Avery Tuttle and Caleb Cox. Like for the 126 out. This is also Avery's second year as a frontier wrestler. Checking in at the center table. Both wrestlers are shaking hands. Let's go, Caleb. Yeah. Caleb Cox comes out firing right out of the start. But both wrestlers are tied up, no points yet. Oh, right. Caleb gets the takedown. Maybe he fights his belly, gets up the base. Caleb trying to crank that half, rolling over to pin him. Everyone seems to be going for for pins tonight. No yeah, one's content with those yeah, yeah. points to get points. Yeah. Something about getting a pin. Get End of the match right there. End of the match. Finish it, yeah. Leaving no question to uh, who the real guy is. But plus, with all these empty spots, it's going to have to come down to the pins yeah. because with a fourth, it's worth six points. You have to make up for it for getting the pins. Caleb, he flips him. And the referee's signaling that he's close to pinning him. 55 seconds, that's a long time to fight on the bottom. Yeah. 
So Athol, Athol ties it up with another pin. Yeah. Six points. And here we got Victor McNutt and Tim Casavicia for the 132 bout. And here's Victor, he's the third, second year wrestler in a row that we have. He's a young team. And he's lower weight classes, which is typically how it goes. Yeah. You, you weigh less, generally you're yeah. younger, but there's some cases where these older kids can get in those bottom weight classes yeah. with five or six years experience. And, oh, Victor gets a blast though, but right out of the gate. But the AFL wrestler maintains control on top. Flip him for the pin. We set them in the middle of the in the middle of the mat. Let's go, Let's go, Tim. up again. Passivich is on top. Yep, there you go. Drive flat. Drive flat. Get underneath the arms. Work underneath the arms. Victor's right now is right building a big base. How important is that, Pat, to build your base from the bottom? Uh, having, having a good base on the bottom is the most important thing. So he can't flip you easily. And yeah. Drive four. What did your head to push it? What did Dan Gordon used to say? What was it? Like a, a fish or something. Drive flat. Oh, now Victor's up on his feet. Now else he was break those hands. You get the escape point. Grab right there. Yeah, he's got it. Escape. Goes right back in. Is it, is it evenly matched? Three to three. They're tied up. Left. Stay balanced. You can score. You can score. Circle. 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 Circle out. Cassidy just trying to spin and get the two points, but Victor hooked the leg. He's not going to let that happen. Just holding on. Come That was a close first period. Yeah. Yeah. That was close to the time. Do you know why? You can't have both hands. So um, the AFL wrestler had a wristband on right there. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, oh, you can't do Coach that. Bagen, coaches like that have a sharp eye, always looking out for points like yeah. that. And safety. If you have a finger caught in there, yeah. you can break it right off. <laughs> so Frontier wins the decision, and he chooses top. That's just a bad point. Yeah, Step, don't move, cover. All right. Takes his position. Not wasting any time. Break him down. Yeah, that's a risky. That's a risky choice. That is not. Yeah. Because if that bottom also escapes, that's a one point. Right now, Victor has it. Looks like he's trying for a half. Now, he's going to roll him over for the pin. He's got his legs locked in pretty good there. He's got to get more control with the right leg. Oh, he's running a half. Oh, half Nelson. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. He's going to have Oh, he's fighting. Cassavich is trying to roll through. Oh, and Victor has the neck. Frontier. Victor McNutt, that's the uh, third Frontier pin of the night. That brings it to 18 team points to 12 team points. Frontier in the lead. Now we got 
down at Pettis. Went up to wrestle. Luke, Denise, 138. Connor Pettis is a senior. He's in the seventh grade. I remember being on the team with him. He's up on the banner 100 wins for wrestling. 100 wins, that's right. Right up there, 2017. Last year. Right after Kane Dellert and Todd Patterson. Frontier Amazing Wrestling. Amazing wrestlers. Amazing wrestlers. <laughs> Both wrestlers tied up, no points yet. These are two experienced wrestlers. Very talented. No one's wrestling any time. Over. A little bit too much. Foot tied up. No points yet after the struggle. Stalling on the wrestlers, bring them back to the middle. Kind of Connor shoots, but yeah, two shoots, Connor stalls. He gets the two. Connor gets two points. And how hard are points to come by in a match like this with two experienced wrestlers? Um, they don't come by often. You know. Or if they do, it up and immediately fall by the escape or yeah. some other yeah. counter move by the other wrestler. These escapes and reversals are two. These experienced guys, everyone, it's they know all the moves. Yeah, the they know all the moves. They know all the reversals. The other guy sprawls. The other guy shoots, guy sprawls. It's, it's who's going to make the least amount of mistakes. That's yeah. what this is going to come down to. And right now. Connor Paz is making the least amount of mistakes. It's two to one. Connor has a leg in the arm hooked. Can't do too much there. Ooh, saved by the bat. Hard fought period. Two to one. They're at Connor Pettis. That's all one. They're taking neutral. No time for rest in the match. No, this has been, this is sitting six minutes of work. Takedown call. Somewhat controversial as per uh, the Frontier Yep. Connor gets the reversal. Right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now. Right now. Right Exactly. Like she just gotta hold on for dear life. Travis Pace is gonna make a mistake. And he's going to him. He's driving him into the mat, not letting him do too much. Like throwing all the way into him. So, uh, referee's gonna reset them to the middle. Connor's gonna take the top position. This could be a vital escape point for the FL Red Raiders. Connor's not gonna let it happen. Maintains down. control. That's the arm. Goes in for the cradle, but 
doesn't quite get a good enough grip. There's 15 seconds left in the second period. Oh, oh God. Do I know of rehearsal? Seven seconds. Five seconds for, for the pen. Marcus just got to hold on. So he, uh, he sticks it out. He survives in the period. That was a nice call. You know what the, the great Don Gordon always says, once you're on your back, sooner you're going to be on your belly. Or, when you're on your belly, sooner you're going to be on the back. When you're on your back, sooner you're going to be pinned. That's what he always says. He's a wealth of knowledge. Yes. Indisputable. Oh, he could write a book about wrestling. Oh, I'm sure he, I'm sure he hasn't. Yeah. You know I bet he's sad about it. I'm searching on Amazon when I get home. Don Gordon. Coaching with Daisy. So Connor's on his, uh, his stomach right here trying to find out. There you go, work that way. Good job. 1 minute and 41 seconds left in the match. He's got a four point deficit to overcome Connor. This has two takedowns, they take down reversal. Yeah. Oh, you know, you can just get the pin, right? Yeah. Pin it out of the two. Half hour later, we're here showing off Will Connor. Oh, and he flips him, he's on his, he's on his back. Oh. He's on his full house. Bottom. This is this could be dangerous, but he has that strength to bridge out. The referee is getting down his stomach. Make sure that other shoulder blade is looking for that. that. Once that second shoulder blade hits the ground, he's slapping that right away. He has the head over to the other side. Seconds left in the period. All, all the uh, FL Raider always be up. There's the pen. There's the pen. Not the best player this guy got the season. But, you know, yeah, the, Red Hawks, the Red Hawks did go 2-2 two two in the last quad. That, that was a pretty stacked quad. They went up against West Springfield. Uh, Smith Folk, they're always good. That was actually yeah. Coach Baggins' last you know, coaching last position job. with Smith Folk. This, this is a league meet. This is especially important to these uh, Red Hawks because they're trying to win league this year. That's their goal. Yeah. That's always the goal, is to win the league. Rie Erkis is going to come out and take a forfeit for Frontier at the 145 position. Uh, Jogging back to his bench. So Frontier is going to stay ahead 24 to 18. A match here with Josiah, or is this going to be this going to be forfeit? Josiah Murray is taking a forfeit for Frontier. So the 152 weight class, there'll be another forfeit for Frontier. That brings us 30 to 18. Now we got Casey Matson coming up. To wrestle with Joe, Joe Bragg, Bragg. One, one six sixty. Casey's a Casey's experienced wrestler. Oh yeah, he's a freshman. I believe he's been wrestling since the seventh grade. Yeah. Yeah. The wrestlers are tied up here, both fighting for control. Bragg goes in and shoots, but Casey stops him. No points yet. Still fighting for control. Bragg slams him and gets the takedown. Gets the two. Oh, he's in trouble. He's on his back. He's on his back. He's back. He's looking for that pen. He's working over. Casey's he's still fighting. He better get out of here. One minute, 20 seconds is a long time to wait. Yeah, it's a long time to be struggling on the bottom. Oh, he, he, gets, oh. he gets onto oh, his belly. Yeah. Bragg gets a near fall three points. Get your elbow behind his head. 
Casey tries to roll out, but he almost gets it. He almost gets it. So. Grant's trying to tank him over. Casey's fighting this. He's been down there for, been down there for 40 seconds. Over under his stomach. He has 20 seconds, seconds left. Casey's got that, he's got that leg hooked. Over the last 10 more seconds. Casey rolls out, he's on his stomach, and he's promptly returned to his back. Oh, one second left in his one second. That was crazy. One minute and 20 seconds he was fighting. A minute and 20 seconds on the bottom feels like at least 10 minutes. Yeah, it feels like an eternity. Your lungs are screaming, you're tired, you're flipping, all your muscles are burning. Uh. I think that either team has a 170 tonight. Uh, Nate Austin's getting warmed up for Frontier, and Chris Woloski looks like he's getting warmed up on the other side. For the for, yeah, for the 182 spot. Oh, looks like it looks like Danny Giswaldi's gonna come out and take the take a forfeit for 170. Seems that way. We'll see. Headgear. And yes, it, it looks like uh, Wasowski's not coming out to the middle, so it looks like Daniel will be getting his, uh, his forfeit. He's a second year wrestler. I remember Danny's first ever win was a forfeit against South Hadley. He came out to the center of his hand and he died. Oh, I, uh, I think I saw that. Oh, it looks Joe Hodith will be coming out. Ooh, alrighty. Chris Waslowski versus Joe Hildreth. All right, this would be a good one. Be a good one. Two a team wrestler. I remember going up Joey uh, for the 170 spot. Or to the 160. So the wrestlers will be pushed out of bounds and they'll be returned to the center. Both teams, team captains, are going up against each other right here. Yeah. This is a good match. And Joey's going to be on the bottom, and Chris will take the top position. Joey goes for the escape, but no, doesn't quite get it. Yeah. This is a, Joe's a five-year wrestler. I think in eighth grade he's been wrestling since he's a veteran. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Eighth grade. Yeah, he's on that team. A senior last yeah. year went to Western Mass. <laughs> no, referee Seven. stops the match. Could have been a potentially dangerous move right yeah. there. After checking in with both wrestlers. And Joe slips through. This would be some chance for some points here. But Chris re re retains control. One minute left in the first period. Chris is trying to roll roll Joe over, but to no avail. He's working. Hold up his base. These are two experienced wrestlers trying to anticipate each other's movements. Don't worry about that. Yep. Yeah. 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 Ye
and he has a leg there. Let go of that leg, you don't need it. Work towards me. Hand control, hand control. Ten seconds, no twitch here. Hand to get his base. Ten seconds, no twitch here. the arm. Yep. Yeah. That is the first period. period. These are both two evenly matched teams, and, and it might it come down to forfeits. Yeah. Uh, Joe is going to be on the bottom, Chris will be on the top. That escape point would be so valuable. That's He sits through. Looks like Chris will retain control. Not going to give up that one point. Uh, Chris is just working that arm. Trying to wear him down there. Yeah. Once you can get that, once you can get that one body part tired out, then that weakness yeah. he can exploit. Looks like he's trying to run a half. Especially on the bottom like that. Yeah, oh my god. You get, it resets everybody. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And if they can't get it cleaned up, then you have to take a forfeit. But it seems like it seems like both wrestlers have their their things in order. They're just cleaning them out at this point. And it's important to make sure that the ref stops the match immediately because these all these issues with bloodborne diseases nowadays, oh, you don't yeah. want to spread anything. It's crazy. That's 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 the worst part of wrestling. I remember getting Impetigo, yeah, that's right. Whatever, that's what, however you say it. That, was that spreads like wildfire. That was the worst. I can rip through a wrestling team in no time. Yeah. Oh. That's why the referee comes in and inspects all the wrestlers before. Yeah, make sure there's no cuts or anything before the match. Looks like they're about to start wrestling again. Joe's got some uh, cotton stuffed up his nose to stop the bleeding. It says wrestling, like a uh, Vaseline covered piece of cloth and shoved up his nose. <laughs> it looks like Chris is getting something wrapped yeah. around his head. Maybe here. They're wrapping it around. I don't know if he he broke it or something. What? 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 Oh, I've never seen that here. before. What? Is that what he did? Remember that that rock I was talking about? Yeah, do what you're good at. 
this is what really separates good wrestlers from great wrestlers. Fighting through this yeah, impedance in the nose. You can't breathe through your nose when you have cotton stuff. Yeah, no, it's, you gotta, you gotta keep this breathing. This is gonna be and determination. Right here. Joe sits still. He's on his stomach. He's doing 25 seconds left. This match is going to come down to endurance. 13 seconds left in the period. This guy's got two more minutes. He's on his back. He's on his back. Oh, one and second. That was close. That was a close call. Two back points for Red. Now we're going to have a team of 5 0 match. Points have been hard to come by in this one, too. Oh, yeah. Try to get in. The fake shot. Another oh, fake shot. Oh, he's to the wall. The wrestlers are going to tie up again. Fight for control. Trying to get that inside control. This is this is when people start to make mistakes in the third period. You're tired. Yeah, you're tired. You're starting to get a little sloppy. You know. Someone might find an opening. Take a shot. Chris takes like a shot. Joey fends him off. Just <laughs> throw the leg. Uh, drive the leg. He's going to get the two. Oh, on his belt. Right 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 two points. Cross face. Oh, it seems he knocked the cotton swab out of Joey's nose. We're going to see another blood time here Stay shortly. Possibly. One minute left in the match. Woloski's fighting for that pin right now. He's trying to hook a leg. So I'm uh, gonna get busy going. And we just got called for stalling. That's one more point to red. Not that I'm bar. leg. Eight nothing and 30 seconds left. Right now, Joe's he's trying to fight. He's trying to fight to not get pinned. He doesn't want those six points up on him. Not those two points. Better to lose by points. back to the center with 13 seconds left in the period. And it looks like Joy Hildreth taking the bottom. He's going to really fight for this escape point or possibly even a reversal here. 13 seconds left. He's going to close up. Up and out. And he's broken down once again. Nothing. That was a full. That was a full match. That was being a, on the that ground, was a full three rounds. Being being down there for six six minutes. That gets tired. Takes a lot out of you. We got Nate Austin coming up against Cody Gilman. Yeah, Nate is another seasoned veteran Frontier Wrestling program. Yeah, he's been wrestling since what? Sixth grade, seventh grade. Wrestling for four or five years now. He's a junior. Both wrestlers are wasting no time tying up. It's 36 to 28 in the last Eight point game right now, so. Yeah. Apple's gonna have to get this, get the pin to close the gap. The wrestler's gonna re reset for stalemate. Hey, that's a good idea. 
Both wrestlers fighting for wrist control. Pins close there. 20 seconds left. He has plenty of time to lock this up. And it's close. And there it is. Another pin for Frontier. That'll extend the lead. 42-28. And Jackie's going to come out for the forfeit. And that'll be the match. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by... Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Whoever had the fullest lineup tonight with Frontier having only giving up two forfeits. That really gave him the, really the edge tonight. Oh, yeah. It's a lot easier. Five? Five or six forfeits that that really that really killed it. That really killed it. That's that's critical. Just having a full lineup when you can have 14 matches in a night, actual matches. That's that's a dual meet. All right, so thank you everybody for joining us here for uh, some Frontier Sports, uh, Frontier Regional versus the Athol Red Raiders out at uh, in the, the gym, Good Now Gymnasium. This is FCAT. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.